Hey there guys, Mike here again. Thanks for clicking this video. A while back I did a video if a $15 mini light bar is good enough for nighttime mountain bike riding. Well, to make a long story short, yes it is. Now it's just an automotive mini light bar that runs off a 12 volt drill battery. Now some of you got some pretty positive comments on the system. Other you have kind of picked it apart as well. One being there was no proper battery management system. It was kind of heavy and it was kind of awkward to build and assemble and put it all together. So my next light system here is to address all those issues. So the heart of this next light system is this mini work light and believe it or not it is as powerful as this other mini light bar but it's quite a bit lighter so I'll go through the motions and how I put it all together and we'll take it out for a burn we'll show you how bright it actually is so this is what we'll base our bike light out of a two inch LED work light a mini bike ATV on off switch a Milwaukee M12 12 volt battery packs and a Milwaukee M12 battery management system so this is the light I'm using. It's made by Trucks. It's a two inch mini spot, 1500 lumens. It has nine LEDs, output power of 18 watts, and it draws 0.87 amps at 12 volts. It goes up to 200 feet here, so that's pretty cool. The light itself is a pretty good quality. Um, it's made out of cast aluminum. It has these fins here, and it's quite a bit lighter than the other light bar that I was using. So I'm gonna go back to using the Milwaukee M12 uh, drill battery. So these output 12 volts, and they're really robust, and they come in various sizes, and it's quite compact. So a battery like this, two milliamp hours, you get over two hours worth of ride time, and they do make bigger batteries than this, and the aftermarket world, you can get different batteries as well for a fraction of the cost. For the battery management system, Milwaukee has come up with this M12 compact charger and power source. And the neat thing about it is, it also is a charger as well, so it comes with this charging system, so you can put your M12 battery in here and charge but it also is a USB charger and it will output 12 volts as well, all protected. It also has LED indicators to tell you what your level is on your battery. I end up getting a switch. So this one is off of Amazon and it's just a, a normal ATV or mini bike on and off switch. We're going to put uh, some fuse protection into the circuit as well. And you also need some type of power core to take the 12 volts out of this system and to bring it up to the switch and the light. So I got everything mocked up here to see how it all works together. So I have the battery management system. So let's push the test button and you can see it's full charge. That cord is running to a little intersection here where the switch is and then it goes off to the light. And take a reading of voltage of the output of the battery and we're reading 12.06 volts DC. Okay, so that seems to be within spec. So let's adjust everything to current so now we're bisecting everything and we'll turn this dial to current and we're reading 0.95 amps dc so just under an amp the claim amperage of the light was actually 0.87 and we're a little bit higher than that i suspect that this wire here is a little bit undersized uh, as compared to the gauge of the wire of this light so what i'm going to do when i do the final build is make sure that this wire here is suitable gauge like this wire here <music> So the soldering is all complete. Everything works awesome. So there's the battery pack, the fuse, and then the wire that goes up to the union there. Goes to the switch, and then it goes to the light. You will need some heat shrink, various sizes, um, a heat gun, a wire strippers, and a soldering gun. So now that the wiring's all done, I gotta come up with a way to mount this. My old light system had a little standoff that came out the top, and that would seem to work pretty good. Uh, but I have another solution for you guys where you can just use a GoPro system, so I'll show you how that goes together, and I'm also gonna make a custom arm bar as well that will mount this and make it nice and sleek. So this is a pre-made solution to mount the light to your handlebar. This is a real GoPro handlebar mount and you want to make sure you get the GoPro mount because it has the rubberized loop section to prevent it from spinning on the bar. I have an extension piece there and I also have a tripod mount. And then the tricky thing about the extension piece and the tripod mount, it's a three groove to three groove. So I had to go out and buy an M5 bolt and it's about an inch long. So that goes through and you have to use an, an Allen key to tighten that all together. And then I also had to go get a half inch long quarter by 20 bolt to mount the LED light bracket to the tripod mount. And here I mounted the GoPro mounts onto the handlebar and got the light all together. It seems to fit pretty good. It's somewhat stable. 
a little bit of vibration there. If you were just doing some roads and some light trails, I think this arm would be pretty good. If you're doing some hardcore wheeling with really bumpy trail, you may want to go with something more solid and I'm going to show you what I'm going to come up with. Since I have the means to do so, I'm going to go ahead and build my own mounting bracket for the handlebar. I'll put a link in the description below on what else would work so you could just purchase something so you don't have to fabricate anything. So I have some lumen extrusions here that will create uh, like a clamshell. I'll take this 25 millimeter uh, hole saw and we'll cut a hole through that and that will clamp nicely between the bar. I have some stainless steel hardware that will clamp that. I'll do this little standoff that comes across the front because this will mount on one side of the stem and then we will have the light like this so it has a little bit of adjustability and I can center that right in the middle of the stem without worrying about it being offset at all. We will test fit this bracket. I kept it extra long because I wanted to know roughly where to mount the light. So we're going to mount the light here just in the center of the handlebar, just a little bit away from the stem. I got this round here so we will tap that and we'll screw that on and we'll put another hole right here so we can push that through. And we'll put a groove in there and we'll tap it with a little set screw. And that will allow us to pinch it and then loosen it off to give it a little bit of swivel up and down so we can aim it properly. So the bracket's almost done. I went ahead and drilled a hole, countersunk it a bit. I put a groove in here and now we're just going to tap it. And this way it will allow me to pinch that rod so we can get a nice adjustment done. So I got the initial test fit of the bracket. That's very adjustable. I can mount on the top like this or I can flip it around and mount underneath the bar, which I think I might do. Uh, it's very rigid. Uh, the only thing I need to do still is kind of round over all the edges here to make it a little bit more smoother. In case you bail, you don't want to smack your knee or any body part on that. That'll kind of wreck your night. Well, here's the completed light. I mounted the bracket upside down to get more clearance and make it a bit more sleek. There's the switch and then from the switch it goes down to a waterproof bag. I got the battery wrapped in some bubble wrap and all velcroed in. That's not going anywhere. I really like this design. I think it's a little bit better than the first two I've done. We'll go for a little burn and I'll show you how this light works. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. I plan to do some modifications to this light system already. I went out and bought a second light and we're going to do a high and low beam so it's pretty cool. And I also have my old BLT battery pack. I removed the old battery and we'll shoehorn the new battery in here to make it look really professional.